put the place up Yeah, we know what we made of Can't get enough of you, boo, I'm a chaser Face up, not Good morning, world. We're here in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Right where we wanted to be. Right where we went to sleep, actually. Convenient, we woke up in the same place. Oh, my truck wants to do a regen right now, does it? Well, that's convenient, because I want to get going right away. Okay. Okay, cool. So I'm just going to move all my stuff back onto the back seat here. Organize everything a little bit. Get my jacket on. Walk the weasel. Fix my hair. Gotta have good hair. Then we'll be on uh, the way to our delivery. I have two deliveries here in Saskatoon, then we're empty. Then I head a little further northeast towards Carrot River, Saskatchewan. Uh, there's a load of lumber there waiting for me. Gonna throw that on the deck, strap her down, and take her home. Should be home pretty late tonight. Well, with the holidays over, and the new year beginning, it's time to start my fitness app again. I'm gonna be using my fitness pal again. Me and my wife, Britt, uh, had a lot of success on that last year, but we sort of let ourselves slide. Well, I've let myself slide more, uh, especially over the Christmas holidays and over the past couple of months. Since the wedding, really, I haven't been paying attention to what I've been putting into my body. So, what does my body do when I don't pay attention? Well, it, it grows horizontally. So pretty much what I want to do is I want to start using this app again. It's called My Fitness Pal. Uh, you just have to input all the food that you eat throughout the day, and just have to make sure that you don't take in more calories than you're burning. If I go for a walk, then I uh, add that in there as well. What I'd really like to get eventually is a Fitbit. A lot of my friends already have Fitbits, and they've had a lot of success with that. Uh, my friend Troy from Halloween Hellmouth, if you go in, uh, onto his YouTube channel and check out his story, about how he, uh, his weight loss and his journey to being healthy. It's really inspirational. Uh, he, he's done a really good job. He's stuck to it. And, uh, you know, just watching him motivates me to uh, keep active and stay healthy myself. So, uh, thanks, Troy. You're keeping me motivated. It's a little bit of a dreary day here in Saskatoon. Oh, it's foggy. Oh, there's a lot of flashing lights in front of me. What's going on here? Oh my. Oh my. What lane should I be in? Oh, it's farm equipment. Oh, of course, it's Saskatchewan. Farmers taking their big combines and sprayers right through the city. <laughs> of course, right? I should just expect that. I'm going to turn right right away. I got to deliver to my customers somewhere around the airport here somewhere around here is the customer hey look there's a Canadian Air Force Memorial here look at that cool turn right on 45th Street West that would be this one right here oh I look Mennonite Central Committee Saskatchewan right here too wow hey this is like my area hashtag my people all right here we are Looks like the crew's already here, that's good. I'm a half hour early, so I'm not sure if they're gonna wanna load me right away. Or unload me right away, pardon me. Pardon me, I'm just trying to make sure I don't drag my trailer over their fancy little temporary fence there. There we go. So we got them over there. Okay, they just want me to nose in here. Okay. <coughs> Coming on in. So I've got all my straps off, got all my corner pieces off, got, got everything off the trailer so it's ready to be unloaded we got their jcb right there they're gonna get me take everything off that's theirs almost the whole load is theirs except for the very bottom piece it's it, it is theirs too but it goes to a different location uh so that shouldn't be too bad throw a couple straps over that and we'll just take it down the road then we'll be empty so these guys are working very fast i got here a half hour early 
and they started unloading me right away. They actually helped me unstrap my trailer and everything, get the straps off of there. I had my tarps on top of the steel. Excuse me if I'm out of breath. I just had a big coughing fit. Still getting over my cold. But uh, uh, they helped me get all of my stuff off my trailer. Uh, we got everything untied and unstrapped in like less than two minutes. Uh, they did just throw it all beside the trailer, but they just wanted to get their job done, get me unloaded, and then I'll clean up my my mess and everything. I gotta say, it's really nice when I get to a job site and everybody is there ready to work, like a half hour early. They help me get my stuff off the truck when they don't have to help me unstrap, but they help me just said it would go by faster. And they are all moving fast. There's not one lazy person on this job site. They are just all moving. I'm gonna be unloaded and out of here in like 15 minutes, I bet. I really like that, especially first thing in the morning. Especially when I know I'm going home. And if I hurry, I can get home tonight yet. But it'll be probably it'll probably be pretty late. To make things even better for me this morning, I just got a message here from uh, Load Gods, who are in contact with the next customer, I guess, and they just told me that, hey, whenever you get there, they're ready to unload you. You don't gotta wait for your appointment time. My next appointment time was 11 a.m. later on today, and it's only 9.45 right now. My appointment here was 10. So they started unloading me here a half hour early already. And as soon as I'm done here, I can go there and they'll unload me as soon as I get there. I don't have to wait for my 11 o'clock appointment, which is awesome. The sooner I get unloaded there, the sooner I get on my way to Carrot River, the sooner I get that lumber thrown on the flatbed, the sooner I strap it down, the sooner I book it home. right away that's awesome no waiting sometimes when I come here I've got to wait a little while until they're ready to load me but not today today is just boom boom let's go bada bing bada boom as some might say I would just say boom boom I don't know no idea what I'm talking about right now I gotta turn around and face towards me I'm park in the middle here and he's gonna load me up real quick they're they're fast here I'll be out of here Guaranteed in 15 minutes. He'll get to work. He's got a lot of lights uh, added onto the front of that tractor, I noticed just now. That's pretty cool. Off he goes. Wonder what kind of lumber I'm pulling today. And he is loading the short stuff too that I was talking about. Oh well. Oh well. There it is in the mirror. You see it? You'll feel it hit the deck right away. Oh, wait for it. Wait for it. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Beautiful. That's that big chimney I was talking about. I don't know what they're burning in there, but probably wood products is what I'm guessing. And there's my load. We're all ready to go. It's getting really cold. Must be getting close to home. This is where the polar vortex likes to live here in Manitoba. This is where it actually comes from. We didn't quite make it all the way home. We're in Portage La Prairie right now at the Flying J. I'm a little nervous to stay the night here because there's no 24 hour gas station that's open, but it's so late, it's 1.30 in the morning already. I'm an hour from work. I'm getting so tired, I had to pull it over. I mean, I'd only be getting home like four or five in the morning anyways. So I talked to Britt and I'm just gonna get home as soon as I can tomorrow and work on that water pump tomorrow. So she didn't need the water running today. Yes, she went to my parents' house and had a shower there and got a whole bunch of uh, big jugs of bottled water. So she's lost to drink and whatnot. But tomorrow will all will be all about, tomorrow will all be about fixing that water pump and getting the, the water flowing in the house again. Hopefully I can do it on my own. You can just call me Plumber Josh tomorrow. I will be the house plumber. I was gonna say the neighborhood plumber, but I'm not doing your plumbing. Uh, you can get your own plumber. You can do your own pipes. <laughs> I've gotta crawl in the dirt underneath the house in the crawl space tomorrow and uh, make sure that the pipes aren't frozen. I think it's just the pump that's lost power. We might need to get a new water pump for the house, which is terrible timing right after Christmas. 
financially, I mean. But anyways, we'll uh, figure it out. Things keep coming up. But, uh, you know, we'll make it. There's someone out there looking over us from up there. He'll uh, make sure everything is good. I'm tired. I'm gonna go to bed, get my short eight hour sleep here, take this load of lumber to the yard, take my straps off of it and whatnot, park it in the loaded lineup, and book it home to my wife, and my pipes, and the water pump. Please join me tomorrow. I make a new video every day. Go to my channel, YouTube channel, Trucker Josh Vlogs, and hit the subscribe button for me if you'd like. Great things will happen. Maybe my mom, my, maybe, maybe my water pipes won't be frozen if you do that. Maybe. Hit the little bell beside it just for good luck as well, so you get a notification when I do upload a video. I'll see you tomorrow.